Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Owen Doyle. Welcome to the video. So today I'm gonna keep it short and simple. I'm gonna update you guys on a few new pieces of gear I picked up to upgrade my arsenal a little bit. So the first thing that I picked up recently is this guy right here. It is the Sony FX6. If I get my camera focused, there we go. Uh, it's a cinema camera. Now I have the A7S III, which I'm filming on right now, but the reason I picked this up is because all the features it has of a true cinema camera with built-in ND filters, um, XLR input built right into the camera. And the thing that I love about it most is it comes as is. It comes with this whole package. It's got this handle with this quick release on it right here. I mean, this thing is just awesome. Way better than a built-in grip on a DSLR or mirrorless camera. Um, it's got the monitor built in. This thing is super bright. Absolutely love it. I have an external monitor for it, but I find myself not using it as much because this monitor right here is super helpful. Me personally, I absolutely love the menu system. A lot of people complain about it, but as of right now, I don't have any issues with it. Uh, I set up all the custom buttons. Probably my favorite thing is Cine EI. So if you don't know what that is, it's kind of hard to explain, so I'm not gonna go into it actually, but I'll leave a link in description if you wanna know what Cine EI is. Uh, Alistair Chapman goes over it. So I absolutely love the electronic ND filters. I didn't think it was the biggest deal at first, but then once I switched back to the A7S III, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta put my ND filter on the front of the lens. But with this thing, I simply just hit the button on the side here, turns on. The ND range is very large on it. Uh, I'm not sure, it's from a quarter and I forget what it goes up to. Put it right here. Yep, that's the range right there. That's the FX6 in a nutshell. I've shot a little bit with it, not a crazy amount, so. I'm gonna plan out some shoots for this week and put that video out next week on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And now let's go into the next piece of gear that I've recently picked up. The last piece of gear I wanna go over is this Helios 44-258 millimeter F2. And oh my goodness, that's a lot of numbers, but that's the name of this lens. This lens right here, you might be looking at it and say, that thing looks a little funky. Yes, it does. But the reason I picked this lens up is because it's not perfect. Now, don't you want a perfect lens? Not all the time. So what this lens does is it produces super unique looking images and I just absolutely love the way it looks even though it's not perfect. So what I mean by not perfect with this lens is it's not edge to edge sharp, the bokeh isn't consistent throughout the whole image and it has a little bit of haze on the front of the lens when you're wide open at f2. What does that do? It gives you a super unique looking image that you don't really often see in videos, especially on YouTube, because most people are using these expensive lenses that produce pretty phenomenal images. I haven't shot with this lens that much, to be honest, but what I've seen from the images so far are just kind of mind blowing. I'm not the best manual focus guy, so I definitely need to get some practice with this lens. So. I'm gonna shoot a couple things this week with the FX6 and this lens on there. So I'm gonna do another video on this lens right here, just an in-depth look at it, and I'll do a bunch of test images and show you guys what it does and how it reacts with certain lighting conditions because it's just absolutely amazing. And I picked it up for 80 bucks, I think. Uh, a little on the expensive side. You can pick them up way cheaper, but it's just one of them I found. And then I just put this uh, adapter on the back I think this thing was like 10 bucks. And this is the lens itself right here. And this is just the adapter for an E-mount lens. It just screws on and you're good to go. So that's it. The Helios 44-258 millimeter lens and the Sony FX6. Those are the two pieces of gear that I added to my arsenal for 2021. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Hey.